What's going on guys? It's your boy the GCC here at the top five Clone Wars season seven sets that Lego needs to make. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Now let's get into our first set. All right, guys, the first set that we're gonna be talking about today is the landing on Anaxis. Obviously, this was featured in season seven of the Clone Wars, and obviously it's a Republic gunship that we have not seen since 2013 or 2014. I absolutely love this set. I definitely could see Lego putting this at that $120 to $150 range obviously you get a great selection of minifigures being mace windu arc trooper jesse a couple 187th troopers and it looks like a couple of b1 battle droids i would love to see maybe a couple of b2 super battle droids or maybe a crab droid that we never received in the atte but that's not the point i love this set i really hope lego makes it obviously you would have some interior space in the republic gunship so you could fit all your clone troopers and jedi in there i would love to maybe see a phase two clone pilot also i think that would be super cool and i don't think we've had a phase two clone pilot in a while so that'd be a nice addition the 187th troopers look fantastic and of course that arc trooper jesse i'm really surprised lego has not made that yet but if we ever get a captain rex's y-wing i'm hoping lego throws them in there or if they ever make a republic gunship based off the clone wars throw them in there as well i really need that in lego form i think this is an awesome set again i hope lego makes this in the future but now let's move on to our next set all right guys the next set that we're going to be talking about today is it's the Siege of Mandalore Battle Pack. I definitely could see this going for $30. It looks like you would get a lot of minifigures. I think a total of six minifigures, which is awesome. It looks like two 332nd Ahsoka Troopers, two Phase 2 White Clone Troopers, and then it looks like two Mandalorian Loyalists, of course, Darth Maul style, which would be awesome. And we haven't seen in, I think, about 10 years. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, it would be a great way to get some of those 332nd Troopers who we haven't seen in a while. And same with those Phase 2 White Clone Troopers. Troopers, I think we only had in the advent calendar and then in the micro fighter clone turbo tank. Um, yeah, I love the bark speeder, you know, just add it to the bark speeder collection. Why not? Right. And then a Mandalorian speeder, which we got in the first Mandalorian battle pack, I think 10 years ago. And then the second Mandalorian battle pack, which came out in 2020, it would just be an awesome set to have maybe a extra mini small Mandalore build, which would be super cool to throw in there. But I definitely think this would be super popular and a great way to army build those Mandalorians, but also those clone troopers obviously we only got one 332nd ahsoka trooper in the 2028 at so it'd be a great way to get some of those as well um yeah what an amazing set and i'm really hoping lego decides to make this within the next year or two let's move on to the next set all right, guys, you know what time it is. It is meme set time. And today on the left, we have a phase one Captain Rex, which looks awesome. And then on the right, we have Captain Flex. Just a look at him. I think this is an amazing minifigure. It'd be a great way to get that phase one Captain Rex that we haven't gotten in a while, but also um, that hawk size Captain Flex. <laughs> Just look at it, though. Of course, he has his um, 501st colored armor. He has the six pack. And then, of course, he has his tiny little 501st helmet, which is awesome awesome i would love to see this maybe for like the may 4th promo or just thrown in some random set i think this would be a great way to get captain rex and then also captain flex and honestly i would love to see this maybe for phase two captain rex as well instead of the phase one we could get phase two and then for captain flex it would just be phase two captain flex which would be awesome and be a great way to get some of those awesome minifigures now let's move on to our next set all right lads the next set that we're going to be talking about today is captain rex's 501st y-wing bomber honestly i'm kind of shocked lego still hasn't given us this set obviously clone wars season 7 came out in 2020 and they still haven't given us a phase 2 captain rex it's just crazy to me i love this set um i definitely could see it going for around maybe like that 100 or 120 dollar range just depending on how big it is and the number of minifigs you would get in the set obviously you would get that season 7 ahsoka tano phase 2 captain rex arc trooper jesse and then of course a 332nd ahsoka trooper which i think is a very appropriate selection of minifigures to include um obviously we all want a phase two captain rex arc trooper jesse would be pretty cool to have as well we've never had him before in lego form so it'd be super cool to have him and i'll take some more 332nd troopers uh, we only got one in the 2020 aat so i'll definitely take some more and add them to the clone army collection um the republic bomber itself looks really nice of course it is in that blue 
blue and white color scheme because of the 501st. It looks like you would have two seats in the cockpit, and then I don't, I'm pretty sure you would have a space for the astromech droid, but I do not know for sure. Um, of course, it would have some paneling inside, you know, your little controls and stuff like that. I'm sure you would have some missiles um, also on the ship, but it would just be so nice to have a new Republic bomber. I think the last one we have, I think was in 2008 or 2009, so it's definitely been a while. It'd be a great way to get some of those awesome minifigures. All right, lads, the last set that we're going to be talking about today is the Darth Maul hallway attack scene. I definitely could see this set going for around $20 or $30. And of course, this was featured in Season 7 of The Clone Wars when uh, Emperor Palpatine executes Order 66, and now the 332nd Ahsoka troopers are trying to kill Ahsoka and Darth Maul. And of course, Captain Rex teams up with Ahsoka, blah, blah, blah. Um... This was a brutal scene in the show. I'm going to be honest. Um, I love this scene. I thought they did an awesome job with it. And I love the panelings um, Brick Wizard included on the side. Of course, you can um, turn the little knob so the panels fly off the wall, which is super cool. You can have your clones be flicked up into the air. And of course, you do have that sliding door. So you can really recreate the scene of where the clone's arm gets chopped off by the door. Overall, an amazing set. I think this would be awesome to have. It would be a great way to pick up some more Ahsoka clone troopers, of course, because we only got one in the 2020 AAT. So it would be awesome to have in another Darth Maul figure. It's like, eh, but it would be awesome to have, especially at that $20 or $30 price range. Congratulations, guys. You have made it to the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I definitely think LEGO needs to make some of these awesome Clone Wars Season 7 sets. Shout out to Brick Wizard 59 Brick Set Ideas, and Star Wars Photoshop for making these awesome sets. I'll put a link to their Instagrams down in the description below. If you enjoyed today's video or you're new to the channel go ahead hit that subscribe button i'd really appreciate it you would help out the channel big time and honestly you would make my day also go ahead give this video a thumbs up it really help out the video and honestly i'd really appreciate it i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'll see you in the next one